Balai speaks, man cannot be righteous. Then answered Balad the Suhite and said, Dominion, dominion and fear are with him. He maketh peace in his high places. Is there any number of his armies, and upon whom doth not his light arise? How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not. Yes, the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man that is a worm, and the son of man which is a worm? Chapter 26 Job, Job replies, God's majesty is unsearchable. But Job answered and said, How has thou helped him that is without power? How savest thou the arm that had no strength? How has thou counseled him that had no wisdom? And how has thou plentiful declared the thing as it is? To whom has thou uttered words? And whose spirit came from thee? Dead things are formed from water, the from from under the waters, and the inhabitants thereof. Hell is naked before him, and destruction had no covering. He stretched it out the north over the empty place, and hanged the earth upon nothing. He binded up the waters in his thick clouds, clouds, and the cloud is not rent under him. He holdeth back the face of his throne, and spreadeth his cloud upon it. He had compassed the waters with bounds, until the day and the night come for an end. The pillars of heaven tremble, and are astonished at his reproof. He divided the sea with his power, and by his understanding he smited through the proud. By his spirit he had garnished the heavens. His hand had formed the crooked serpent. Lo, these are parts of this way, his ways. But how little a portion is heard of him? But the thunder of his power who can understand? Job chapter 27, 27. Job continues, I will maintain my integrity. Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, As God liveth who had taken away my judgment, and the Almighty who had vexed my soul, all the while my breath is in me, and the Spirit of God is my in my nostrils. My lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast, and I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. Let my enemy be as the wicked, and he that riseth up against me as the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he had gained when God taketh away his soul? Will God hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will he delight himself in the Almighty? Will he always call upon God? I will teach you by the hand of God, that which is the Almighty, will I not conceal. Behold, all ye yourselves have been have seen it. Why then are ye thus altogether vain? This is the portion of a wicked man with God, 
and the heritage of oppressors which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be justified with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare remnant as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. He built his house on as a moth, and as a booth that the keeper make it. The rich man shall lie down, but he shall not be gathered. He opened his eyes, and he is not. Terrors take hold on him as waters. A, a tempest stealeth him away in the night. The east wind carried him away, and he departed, and as a storm hurtled him out of his place. For God shall cast upon him, and not spare, he would fain flee out of his hand. Men shall clap their hands at him, and shall hiss him out of his place. Uh, chapter 28 Job continues, Where is wisdom? Surely there is a vein for the silver, and a place for gold, where they find it. Iron is taken out of the earth, and brass is molded out of the stone. He set it an end to darkness, and searched out all perfection, the stones of darkness, and the shadow of death. The flood breaked out from the inhabitants, even the waters forgotten of the foot. They are dried up, they are gone away from men. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread, and under it is turned up as it were fire. The stones of it are the place of sapphires, and it had dust of gold. There is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vulture's eye had not seen. The lion's whelps have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. He put it forth his hand upon the rock. He overturned the mountains by the roots. He cut it out rivers among the rocks, and his eye see it every precious thing. He bindeth the floods from overflowing, and the thing that is hid bringeth he forth to light. But where shall wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the, print, the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth said, It is not in me. And the sea said, It is not with me. You, It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the air. Destruction and death say, We have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and see it under the whole heaven, to make the weight for the wind, and he weigheth the waters by measure. 
when he made the decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder. Then he, then did he see it and declare it. He prepared it, yes, and searched it out. And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Job chapter 29 Job's summary defense Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, Oh, that I were as in months past, as in the days when God preserved me, when his candle shined upon my head, and, and when by his light I walked through darkness, as I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle, when the Almighty was yet with me, when my children were about me, when I washed my steps with butter and the rock poured me out of rivers of oil, when I went out to the gate through the city, when I prepared my seat in the street, the young men saw me and hid themselves and the age arose and stood up. The princes refrained talking and laid their hand on their mouth. The nobles held their peace, and their tongue cleaved it to the roof of their mouth. When the ear heard me, then it blessed me, and when, he, and when the eye saw me, it gave witness to me. Because I delivered the poor that cried, and the fatherless, and him that had none to help him, the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness and clothed me. My judgment was as a robe and I die down. I was, uh, I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame. And I broke the jaws of the wicked and plucked the spoil out of his teeth. Then I said, I shall die in my nest, and I shall multiply my days as the sand. My root was spread out of the waters, and the dew lay all night upon my branch. My glory was fresh in me, and my bow was renewed in my hand. Unto me men gave ear and waited, and kept silence at my counsel. After my word they spoke not again, and my speech dropped upon them. And they waited for me as for the rain, and they opened their mouth wide as for the later rain. If I laughed on them, they believed it not, and the light of my countenance they cast not down. I choose out their way and sat chief, and dwelt as a king in the army, as one that confronted, comforted the mourners. Chapter 30 But now they that are younger than I have me in derosion, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yes, whereto might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For want, for want and famine they were solidary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waif. Who cut up mar... Mallows by the brush bushes and ju juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cl cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they betrayed under the nettles, they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yes, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And now am I 
their song. Yes, I am their byword. They abhor me, they flee far from me, and spare not to spit in my face, because he had loosed, loosed my cord and afflicted me. They have also let loose the brittle before me. Upon my right hand rise the youth. They push away my feet, and they raise up against me the ways of their destruction. They mar my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. They came upon me as a wide breaking in of water. In the desolation, they rolled themselves upon me. Terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind, and my welfare passes away as a cloud. And now my soul is poured out upon me, and the days of affliction have taken hold upon me. My bones are pierced in me in the night season and my sinews take no rest. By the great force of my disease in my garm is my garment changed. It binded me about as the collar of my coat. He had cast me into the mire and I am become like dust and ashes. I cry unto thee and thou dost not hear me. I stand up and thou regardest me not. Though thou art become cruel to me with thy strong hand, thou opposest thyself against me. Thou liftest me up to the wind, thou caused me to ride upon it, and dissolvest my substance. For I know that thou wilt bring me to death and to the house appointed for all living. How beat, how bait he will not stretch out his hand to the grave though they cry in his destruction but now but did not I weep for him that was in trouble was not my soul grieved for the poor when I looked for good then evil came unto me and when I waited for light there came darkness my bowels boiled and rested not. The days of affliction prevented me. I went mourning without the sun. I stood up and I cried in the congregation. I am a brother to dragons and a companion to owls. My skin is black upon me and my bones are burned with heat. My harp also is turned to mourning and my organ into the voice of them that weep. Job chapter 31, 31. Job's final appeal. I made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I think upon a mate? For what portion of God is there from above? And what inheritance of the Almighty from on high is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity doth not he see my ways and count all my steps if I have walked with vanity or if my foot had hastened to deceit let me be weighed in even balance that God may know my integrity if my step had turned out of the way, and my heart walked after my eyes, and if any blot had cleaved to my hand, then let me sow and let another eat. Yes, let my offspring be rooted out. In my heart have been deceived by a woman, or if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind unto another, and let others bow down upon her. For this is an heinous crime. Yes, it is an iniquity to be punished by the judges. For it is a fire that consumes me to destruction, and would root out all my increase. 
If I did despise the cause of my manservant or of my maidservant when they contended with me, what then shall I do when God rises it up and when he visits, what shall I answer him? Then did not he that made me in the womb make, make him and did not one fashion us in the womb? If I have withheld the poor from their desire or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail or have eaten my morsel myself alone and the fatherless had not eaten thereof, for from my youth he was brought up with me as with a father, and I have guided her from my mother's womb. If I, if I have seen any perish for what of clothing or any poor without covering, if his loins have not blessed me, and if he were not warmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have lifted up my hand against the fatherless, when I saw my help in the gate, then let my army fall from my shoulder blade, and my army be broken from the bone. For destruction from God was a terror to me, and by reason of His Highness I could not endure. If I have made gold my hope, or have said to the fine gold, Thou art my confidence. If I rejoice because my wealth was great, and because my hand had gotten much. If I beheld the sun when it shined, or the moon walking in brightness, and my heart had been secretly enticed, or my mouth had kissed my hand, this also were iniquity to be punished by the judge, for I should have denied the God that is above. If I rejoiced at the destruction of him that hated me, or lifted up myself when evil found him, neither have I suffered my mouth to sin by wishing a curse to his soul. If the man of my tabernacle said not, Oh, that we had of his flesh we cannot be satisfied the stranger did not lodge in the street but i opened my doors to the traveler if i covered my transgressions as adam by hiding my iniquity in my bosom did i fear a great multitude or did the contempt of families terrify me that i kept silent and went not out of the door Oh, that one would hear me. Behold, my desire is that the Almighty would answer me, and that my adversary had written a book. Surely I would take it upon my shoulder and bind it as a crown to me. I would declare unto him the number of my steps. As a prince, would I go near unto him? If my land cry against me, or that the furrows likewise thereof complain. If I have eaten the fruits thereof without money, or have caused the owners thereof to lose their life, let thistles grow instead of wheat, and cockle instead of barley. The words of joy, the words of Job are ended. Chapter 32 He who rebukes Job's three friends So these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then was kindled the wrath of Elu, the son of Barashel, the Buzite of the kindred of Ram. Against Job was his wrath kindled because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends was he, his wrath kindled, because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job. Now Haihu had waited till Job had spoken, because they were elder than he. 
When Hilo saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, when his wrath <coughs> was kindled, and Helu, the son of Bershel, the Abazite, answered and said, I am young, and ye are very old. Wherefore, for I was afraid, and durst not so you my <coughs> opinion. I said, days should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty give it them understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Therefore I said, hearken to me, I also will show my opinion. Behold. I waited for your words, I gave ear to your reasons. Wills ye searched out what to say? Yes, I attended unto you, and behold, there was none of you that convinced Job, or that answered his words, lest ye should say, We have found out wisdom. God trusted him down, not man. Now he had not directed his words against me, neither will I answer him with your speeches. They were amazed. They answered no more. They left off speaking. When I had waited, for they spoke not, but stood still and answered no more, I said, I will answer also my part. I also will show my opinion, for I am full of matter, the spirit within me constrained me. Behold, my belly is as wine which had no vent, it is ready to burst like new bottles. I will speak that I may be refreshed, I will open my lips and answer. Let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person. Neither let me give flattering titles unto men, for I know not to give flattering titles in so doing, my Maker would soon take me away.
sow in tears, we'll reap in joy.